Hello my friends, this is Wolfgang with Tools for Ascension. And my gift to you today is this video about clearing resistances and blocks to Ascension. And uh, many of you, or of us, suffer from Ascension symptoms and do not know why. So in this video, I will define what Ascension is. I will speak about Ascension symptoms. I will speak about blocks towards ascensions and then we will be doing a guided meditations where we dissolve as many blocks as possible. So what is ascension? So the general underlying idea of ascension or ideas of ascension are that the solar system, you know, travels along a path, you know, in the Milky Way uh, galaxy. And uh, just as we have like four seasons on Earth in general, or maybe you know two in the tropical areas, um, so we are also um, going, um, you know, through in the uh, Milky Way galaxy through um, uh, seasons of uh, lightness and darkness, and not necessarily you know completely evenly distributed. There are kind of clouds of lightness may be interspersed with darkness but that is the general gist and as we are moving into a higher concentration of lightness or photon energies uh, right now um, people are getting affected by it and it tends to raise people's vibration and well raising people's vibration well how does that really look like well when I lived in India, you know, in ashrams, I mean, we all knew that when somebody would visit a holy place, which is, you know, a place of higher vibration, um, they would generally get sick um, and sleep for two days. And then after that, um, they would be uh, purified, I mean, of higher vibration. And, you know, you could actually see it in their faces and also humble. So, um, higher vibration in general creates a detoxifying effect in the, the physical body. And also higher vibration creates a detoxifying effect in the emotional body. Um, so, we just heard about the effect on the physical body. Um, and in the emotional body, um, let's say, systems like uh, rebirthing or holotropic breath, you know, where you raise your vibration through intense breath work, um, all the um, lower vibrations, you know, start popping up and become apparently very, you know, strongly visible to you. So this would be the Spurgeon effect of higher vibration. Uh, so if you have you know suppressed emotions i mean they will come up and uh, some people you know fall apart and a minority may even go like wacko yeah uh, like i mean everybody kind of knew better than to give uncle willie alcohol during the wedding you know something like that and so there are those people that are just waiting you know <laughs> to go off the deep end and so a uh, higher vibration also has a similar effect. It's kind of like maybe magic, magic mushrooms, you know. And so if you have uh, lots of love and send it out, you know, you, you most likely are going to have a blessed time. And uh, you're probably then being also shown higher dimensional consciousness, you know, how it works and how it feels like. So let's talk a little bit about ascension symptoms. So number one, of course, is lethargy. And uh, <clears throat> so basically, you know, you may have a flu-like symptoms. And of course, there could be very good reasons that you have flu-like symptoms, like in a, from the physical world, you know, like you're having a flu or cold or, you know, some of these other um, like Franken flus, you know, that going around. Um, so, um, you know, it can also be, of course, lethargy to, to negative energy. You know, if you're depressed and if you're like working in a slaughterhouse, 
or a penitentiary, you know, um, you're not going to be such a happy person, I guess, you know. Or it could be even something nutritional like iodine deficiency. But uh, <clears throat> so if all is fine and you maybe get an eight hours of sleep, you know, you're not overeating or you have avoidance behavior that you don't even want to be here in this physical world, you know, it's most likely that your lethargy is due to detoxing, you know, and also about updating of your body. And uh, you might um, find very similar experiences also when you start fasting. You know, where you start detoxing and, of course, so because you have more life force available, you know, people tend to get into higher consciousness. You know, that's why these methods were used. Uh, also, um, you know, if you are sleeping a lot and if you can, um, you know, doing this extra sleep, uh, you may get some extra dream time, you know, especially if uh, you take some better carotene or de-stresses like chamomile tea, you know, or maybe half a dose of melatonin um, before, you know, you go to sleep. But of course, you know, these can be all a gateway drugs to heavy drug use, and you should definitely, you know, consult your physician or your husband, uh, especially if you want to become pregnant. Um, I, I have uh, no medical qualification at all. So, um, other you know, ascension symptoms that intense emotions like guilt or sadness or anger are coming up out of nowhere. You know, or you, you, th you thought you had it all done, you know, you were on the way to saintliness and then suddenly something triggers you and you blow your lid so much that you're like, ooh, what is happening here? You know, um, so this is part of burden of the emotional body. You know, and of course, there's also an updating, you know, of the mental body. And that uh, will that we may suddenly, you know, uh, see that our worldview has outgrown, you know, that of our peers, you know, who seem to have maybe a mental horizon, like, you know, from here to the kitchen door, you know, or in a corporate environment, you know, from here to the water cooler. And, you know, we then, of course, <laughs> feel trapped in our relationship, you know, or a work environment. You know, it becomes quite lonely then. Um, you know, another um, sense and symptoms is that, you know, we become aware of the presence, or we becoming aware again of the presence of beings like a ghost, you know, shadow beings, and, you know, other things. Mm -hmm. uh, I say again because uh, most likely, you know, um, these people have seen this as children too. And then they got lost. And also, um, some of you will feel very strong energies, you know, some of them very ecstatic, you know, flowing through your body. You know, suddenly you are like, <sighs> you know, and this beautiful rush, you know, comes through you. And, um, I have seen this quite a lot, you know, that people, you know, around three o'clock in the morning <laughs> uh, suddenly wake up and, you know, these strange energies, you know, are coming over them and they even have tingling in their head. And some of you, you know, may see visuals or have all kinds of ideas popping into you. You know, these are basically you getting updates, you know, of news. Yeah, it's like a computer, you know, getting updates, uh, the latest software updates, bugs are being removed. So uh, similar things are actually happening, you know, to uh, humans. And, you know, we are becoming aware of this. Um, also another, you know, uh, good side effect of um, raising vibration uh, is uh, that negative habits start falling away uh, because um, you found better ways, you know, it's not that you become more, you have more willpower and suppressing, oh, no, I will not do this, you know, I will love my neighbor from now on, like myself. No, it's like, you know, you let's say going from heroin habit, you know, to uh, having tantric or breathwork. And uh, I know that is funny, 
but it's actually not a joke. I've seen this. <laughs> actually, where a walk-in, you know, took over, you know, the body of somebody that didn't want to live anymore, and, you know, it's like really uh, having a great time now. Um, another thing of, of these times here, of these ascension, is this people are being kicked out out of their rut. You know that they got stuck in whether it's their relationship you know that was dysfunctional or their place of living you know that is unacceptable there's too much pollution you know too much negative energy you know or their job becomes too toxic for them you know and uh, many of people you know start looking for you know, for a new trajectory, you know, in life, you know, where they want to do something meaningful, you know, I mean, you may have a cushy job, you know, doing your bean counting or paper pushing or whatever you're doing, but, you know, this is paying the bills, but, you know, it's kind of just, you know, uh, work in the hamster wheel, so to say. Uh, and... Mm, so this can be and you know should maybe be a gradual process but uh, for many people this can be quite abruptly like we're also seeing you know in world history right now and um, those things seem to be facilitated i mean by astrological events but also by strong solar storms you know and um, also, maybe solar flashes. I mean, there have been people that correlated these kind of records. You know, there are records, and they went back in history and showed um, that there was a big correlation. You know, between solar storms or flashes and you know historical events with humanity. You know, beyond astrology. You know, astrology is another you know clockwork of programming stuff. But, solar flashes have quite something to do with this, you know, and so, <clears throat> um, you know, there is this whole idea that when the proper solar flash happens, um, that uh, so much photons, so much light comes into the people that they will trip the beats off, so to say, uh, or um, another scenario that through these solar flashes, um, the electronic grid is being taken down, you know, that holds humanity's frequency down. And um, so this could be either solar flare or ET intervention. So these are all um, ideas and theories about ascension, you know, how this could go down. Um, and, you know, if those, let's say, if you have a, a frequency grid that goes down, that keeps our, you know, frequency down, if this goes down, you know, the result would be, you know, higher vibration so that you may be able to have a conversation with your high self, like, you know, you have with your best friend, like face to face, you know, clearing, clear thoughts, clear communication. Um, so, uh, <laughs> uh, again, you know, a lot of tripping going on in, in such scenarios. And, of course, when this happens, uh, most likely there will be a lot of really confused people that could use some guidance, you know, from people like you. And, um, you know, uh, you might uh, not be completely enlightened, but at least, you know, you might be just a one-eyed leading the blind, you know, teaching the basics, you know, what is going on. So... This is you, most likely, when you watch this video here. Does that resonate with you? You know, if your hair is standing on end or if you're tingling, you know, this means it resonates with you. Okay. So now, of course, you know, there are all kinds of, you know, resistances, you know, towards ascension. You know, so first of all, you know, ascension is happening just like summer is going to happen, you know, or the sun is going to rise, you know. Uh, this is not something that we, you know, really facilitate, you know, this is happening, you know, affecting, you know, all the animals, all the plants, the whole planet. The question is, are you going with the flow or, you know, are you not going with the flow? You know, are you going to check out of this uh, 3D uh, matrix, <laughs> you know, and, uh, you know, not going to make the transitions? 
you know. I mean, many humans do just don't want to change, you know. They rather have their steak instead of uh, maybe nirvana, you know. And uh, some humans or many humans have trashed out their body and so much, and there is not much to look forward <laughs> you know, to in their old age, you know. And they're just tired of life, you know. No hope for their future. And they're just, you know, so sick and tired of it that's just you know they will check out you know for any excuse you know this could even be you know the latest design of flu right so a lot of my clients you know are also uh, forced into ascension you know by their subtle attackers you know uh, i said yeah subtle attackers uh there may be you know discarnates you know or uh, vampiric lovers, you know, that suck their energy, you know, or dark magicians, or higher dimensionals, you know, or uh, other attacks that force them to search and find answers, you know, and solutions to their mental, you know, their mental horizon is expanding more and more, and so they're becoming aware, you know, see the pattern of what is going on, and, um, you know, they have to, you know, do this, you know, to, to get away from the suffering, you know. So if, you know, people constantly start stealing stuff from your car, um, you know, you better learn how to lock your car, you know. <laughs> so these people are forced, you know, to learn their spiritual Kung Fu, and, you know, they are, uh, this um, leads to uh, becoming more aware of subtle realities, you know, which is ascension, which is uh, waking up. And in Sanskrit, um, you know, I know this is very loosely the idea, loosely. You know? um, there are terms like uh, mukti or moksha, and, you know, these ideas can be loosely applied here. You know, so these are terms that, you know, are describing the loosening, you know, of the attachment, you know, of our conditioning, you know, are you supposed to do this and that in society? This is your role, you know, this is how things are done, you know, and to this programming, you know, that is here from this matrix, you know, to that you liberate yourself and to gain your emotional, spiritual and other freedoms, you know, even clearing, you know, your karma. Um, you know, so of course, um, their idea is this, this uh, mostly happens at the time of death, uh, but it can happen in this lifetime, right? So, but this is this process, you know, that becomes very easy uh, due to this increase of uh, light. I mean, and I completely agree with this, you know, I've seen this, how this is happening on myself and my clients. So, uh, and then, of course, there are these um, resistances, you know, to ascension. So, what are those? You know, what holds us back, you know, from just walking on the water and just blissing out, you know, and just breathing sunlight <laughs> and radiating love, right? So, in my opinion, you know, this is everything that uh, holds or creates, you know, darkness in our, you know, body, in our mind and spirit complex, you know? This is so there's resistance, you know, or block there, you know. So, for instance, you know, a lot of this is like um, black magic contracts that have been done, you know, and the guilt that surrounds this, you know. I mean, most people are probably aware that uh, according to the law, you know, when you do a mag, uh, a contract, you know, with the devil that you uh, have to sacrifice, you know, somebody or something that you really love, you know. And that, of course, creates guilt, you know, that will follow you around. So that, you know, is the darkness that will give uh, the uh, dark side, you know, the, uh, the devil, so to say. And these are people, <laughs> not just an idea. Um, you know, give them access, you know, to get into your light body. You know? It's like you're, when you're just all light, that's okay, but as soon as you, you know, have this guilt, there is a darkness, and that they can get into that, you know, to you. Uh, 
so you know so anytime you know you do the black magic you do a contract you know uh, you, know, you get more weight you know that keeps you down and then of course there are you know those aspect of you you know they also don't go into the heavens so you know they have to be cleared you know forgiveness and so on you know which is happily granted and they go into the heaven you know that's a big burden of you know and um, also uh, many aspect of us have been trapped by black magicians you know and even by ets you know there are ways that this uh, mind energy uh, can be trapped and harvested and uh, this has happened quite a lot you know even for scientific experiments when clones or chimeras you know had to be animated with a consciousness um, there's a lot of that stuff was going on you know um, they were primitive like maybe are being taught and so um, those things also have to be clear you know or it helps a lot and then, of course, there are all kinds of vows, you know, where we may be cursed, you know, um, love God because we saw the terrific things or, or horrific things that, you know, happen in war. Or we also vowed loyalty, you know, to the dark side, you know. Sometimes even to get, to get revenge, you know, we went to the dark side, you know. We thought this only going to be for a while, but you know how that goes. So uh, then also, you know, uh, uh, curses, you know, uh, curses have been very uh, potent and strong. Um, curses are thought forms in the, in the good old times. A lot of energy was put into this and developed into a science, and they would not have done that if it doesn't work. If it wasn't stupid superstition, this stuff works. That's why the cabal, you know, is using methods like this too. Uh, you know, reportedly, or people say so, and um, <clears throat> so uh, many of them, you know, were designed to just cut you off from your divine guidance, and it's good to have those cleared. You know, they just have to ask nicely. And yes, and there was also DNA manipulation, you know, for some races, you know, that tried to keep us, you know, dumb and stupid and obedient and strong, you know. It's like we do maybe with some of the farm animals. And uh, so th this can be reversed. And then are like implants and other devices, you know, that were put in by higher dimensional intelligence that, you know, like to keep us like as farm animals, you know, to harvest our chi, but then also, you know, for magician and, uh, you know, envious people, you know, um, that are now magic visualization and so on. And they're like implants, wings, like cords and programs and parasites or even entities and technologies like nano and frequency screens, you know. Now, all these things, um, they have a finger in this uh, pie of resistances <laughs> and then there is of course also you know still out trauma you know from past life you know persecution or from envy or from stealing or entrapment of our power these are all you know darknesses you know in our light body mm -hmm. and then also like angry other human discarnates you know you are the people that follow you around as discarnates, this means as ghosts somehow, you know, messing things up for you. And then there are also higher dimensionals that harvest our chi, like luge, you know, like we harvest milk from cows, you know, and they want to keep us down. So this is, the, you know, just to give you an idea, um, this, you know, ascension um, is like, uh, not a one size fits all. If there's a one size fits all, it's like love, you know, pumping love, I would say. Uh, but this is, a, you know, a complicated issue. And, but it is being aided, you know, by the influx of love and light. You know, I mean, people waking up in many ways. Um, some, you know, use, uh, you know, mind expanding substances and they really see the connections, you know, in, in, in life, you know, seeing a higher perspective. So, uh, 
you know, this is all part, this rapid transformation, you know, this uh, uh, finding new ways, you know, looking at traditions and trying better ways, you know, trying to look outside the box, you know, this is all part of, you know, this ascension consciousness. So now um, that's just, you know, mind food for you. And maybe sometimes, you know, it resonated with you. Let's just get into the meditation, you know, itself. That's where we get the real work done here. <laughs> so I just uh, sit in a you know, comfortable office chair, you know, and balance your body so that, you know, stacks up nicely. And you know, it's really tough to enjoy uh, you know, a meditation when your back hurts, you know, so, you know, you want to stack it nicely, you don't want to kind of slump, you know, that is, uh, you know, bad, bad posture, you know, keep your chin nicely tucked in, and then don't go like that, you know, that kings the chi flow into your crown chakra, uh, this is generally, you know, a better position, and also you can lay down, and um, use this as an ASMR tool. You know, it, uh, my voice is supposed to put people to sleep and they feel better afterwards. <laughs> so, uh, but then you're not aware necessarily of decisions and you may not learn, but um, you know, falling asleep doing a meditation uh, is better than no meditation at all. You know? <laughs> so, um, I also advise, you know, to use earbuds, you know, or headphones uh, to cancel out any outside distraction. Also, actually, I don't need my headphones here right now. Uh, so then uh, do not drive or operate heavy machinery. You know, I had to say this, but, you know, this is going to space you out. It's going to be really dangerous, you know, to do this while driving and really smile like an idiot, you know, reside in your heart. Uh, I mean, you know, if you start frowning during the meditation, you will, I mean, have much less benefit. I mean, maybe a quarter or less. I mean, smiling is really essential to make this successful. You know, and breathe at a pace that you can hear the air flowing through your nostrils. I cannot really demonstrate this here because um, I have this uh, noise gate on <coughs> that cuts out any subtle noises. I'm in a noisy environment here. Uh, so, but you want to hear the air flowing through your nostrils. So that's uh, quite an intense um, reading. And... Um, but uh, emotionally and mentally be in a childlike state of innocence during the guided meditation. Mm -hmm. So you have your eyes closed, your attention is inside, and, uh, but you're kind of innocent, you know, you're not having like a cynic, you know, or a scientific uh, <laughs> mental dialogue, you know, uh, watching your images and impression and then start criticizing it, you know, that puts you you know, into the mental state again, into your old conditioning and, you know, out of the heart space, you know, uh, where you actually get new information. And uh, also, you do not have to, you know, repeat my affirmations, just align with the idea of it. So when I say Amen, you know, say Amen or think Amen or yes or so be it or Swaha, you know, or Ho, whatever is most appropriate. Yeah. And of course, this is a shotgun meditation and will probably and hopefully not clear all resistance in you, you know? I mean, it would be a little much for you in clearing all at one time. So much of the time, you know, you will have to do these guided meditation just like you would take uh, pills or teas. And, you know, we, we're covering so many subjects, you know, here. Um, you know, every time you go through, um, you will discover another layer, you know, of what is going on. Mm -hmm. And, of course, you can also treat yourself to a private Skype session and, you know, cut right to the chase. Uh, my prices are, I would say, very reasonable. Uh, you can just go to my website or, you know, send me an email and uh, also find, you know, info in the credits. So... Uh, close your eyes, you know, and uh, we ask so that everything that happens in and from this guided meditation here is going to be for the highest good. 
in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. So that's really important that you agree here. So you are protected. We also ask that we are completely protected by in the interference from the service to self side, you know, the dark hearts, that they cannot manipulate, you know, our thoughts, our emotions, our, our experience in any way and give us false information. Yeah, we ask that we are completely guided and protected, you know, towards the highest good, you know, by absolute source or beings like Archangel Michael or, you know, Lord Shiva or other beings, whatever it is from your tradition that you love and trust. So be it. Amen. 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 And now, you know, make sure you smile and imagine that you draw, you know, love from the Earth Mother, you know, through your feet and through your root chakra, into your heart, deep inhale. And on the exhale, again, you smile like an idiot and you send your love to the Earth Mother, you know, and you exhale all the way out, you know, just like good form like in yoga, you know, or in weightlifting, you know, you do a good form, instead of sloppy form, try to do a good form, you know, not on reverence, you know, but good form, you know, very intimate, just like a baby nursing from the mama, you know, but good breathing form and good smile, yeah, most likely, you know, you have some tingling in your body by now that comes from good grounding, you know, your earth energy starts rising in you. And now I'll put your tongue to the palate and pull this earth love, you know, into your heart. On the inhale, on the exhale, you send it out the top of the head. So. I'm going to do this with my mouth closed. Don't do this with your mouth open like I just did. So. And just keep, you know, pushing, you know, the energy up and out. And we ask the most potent spirit guides to clear our crown chakra and our spiritual communication system and protect them now. Amen. And now I start pulling in the love from the heavens. It means, you know, imagine you're pulling in love from, you know, the heavens or from the ceiling into your heart from the divine loving beings. And on the exhale, you send your love up to the divine loving beings like this could be your own high self your ancestors your guardian your angels your totem animals you know your saints you know milky way galaxy ultimately just breathe back and forth you know smile like an idiot and we ask just our spirit guides to just really give you a good experience you know that you will remember that will uplift you Amen. Now start pulling in the love from heaven and earth simultaneously into your heart, like in on the exhale, expand it in your you know, on every exhale, maybe it becomes like two inches or three, four centimeter larger. And gradually. But just focus on the emotional quality, you know, smile and deep breathing. Good. Yes, you probably feel more floaty. Some of you may feel very large, yet very small at the same time. And now we ask for your divine higher self to just, you know, descend into your body and uplift you. Amen. And many of you feel a little tall in your shoulders or more expansive as such. And now we just ask your high self to give you a yes, which would be a feeling from, uh, of love or energy from the heart to the head and up floor. Uh, that would feel kind of like this. But 
Herz gehen. So I ask your high self, you know, to give you a nice yes. Now, Amen. And one more time, if you didn't feel it, ask it to make it a lot stronger. Crank it up. Now, Amen. Okay, and um, now let's ask for a clean no, that would be, you know, energy from the heart towards the feet, it would feel like that, maybe. And again, it's kind of like a downer. So now let's ask your high self to give you a clean, strong no, now. And if you didn't feel it, I asked your high self to step up here and make it a lot stronger for you now. Amen. All right. You know, if you didn't feel anything, you might want to use maybe a pendulum, you know, or do some other meditation, like clearing obstructions or how to use a pendulum, you know, or opening your heart, something like that. Anyhow, uh, so let's just get into it. So keep on smiling and pumping love into your heart. But, you know, and uh, just uh, focus on my voice, you know, and on the love in your heart. So your love is probably the most cursed and manipulated aspect besides your power, you know. Love is the drug in every lifetime. So we trap it, or we are being trapped around it, you know, we try to steal it, or it's a stone from us. And uh, so we used all kinds of physical or social manipulations, you know, to keep the loved ones tied to us. You know, and if we did not, if that did not work out so well, you know, we turned to magic spells or curses and manipulation, you know, through kind of voodoo dolls, pictures, visualizations, just to name a few, you know, to get what we wanted. So, of course, you know, there were curses, you know, uh, from those that were envious, you know, that were competing, you know, for the same male or female with us, and, you know, and they all that cursed our love. So, you know, let's ask, you know, did we get cursed? You know from others and do those still affect us yes or no and let's ask did we curse others around love and does that still mess them up yes or no and let's ask the uh, and vows you know uh, we did many exclusive vows you know uh, to never love anymore, you know, or to only love Jesus or the Buddha or uh, Billy Bob, you know. And uh, so are you still limited in your love due to vows? Yes or no? And ask one more time. Are you still limited in your love due to vows where you kind of rejected, you know, or made exclusive love contracts, yes or no? Uh huh. Okay. Now, uh, another thing really affecting love is like ghosts, you know, from, you know, all lovers that are so enamored with us that they still follow us around and you know, many of them don't agree with our life choices <laughs> in this lifetime. You know, not especially not our partners. You know, they're just like jealous like everybody else. You know, and then they're also like all pious ghosts, you know, nuns or monks or nuncian, you know, or any kind of fanatics. Uh, that, you know, for some reason didn't make it into the heavens. <laughs> so they also many times do not agree you know, with your lifestyle choices, especially your romantic choices. You know, they see this as the abyss, you know, getting you entangled in the physical world. So ask, you know, are those, you know, also affecting you? Yes or no? 
Huh? One more time. Are the old lover ghost and old pious ghost still affecting you? Yes or no? And so, and then we have uh, also old heartbroken ghosts, you know, that got maybe abused and loved. So they are like, hey, don't love, you know, that just hurts too much or, you know, we disappointed them and they are, you know, one does not want us to be happy. You know, so a lot of them are very heartbroken and every time, you know, we meet somebody close to what they had, you know, suddenly all this pain comes up across us. So ask, you know, your inner guidance, your high self, you know, are you still affected by, you know, a heartbroken ghost, you know, yes or no? So, you know, these kind of love relationships, they can be such a complicated knot of karma, you know, it back and forth, you know, through the lifetime. So it would take a long time to pick it all apart. So we ask now our ancestors, you know, our guides, our inner child, our teen, our high self, and also Archangel Daniel, you know, he's in charge of relationships, to know, Jesus, please, you know, slash that knot of karma, you know, and toxic thought forms, you know, from um, both sides of the fence, you know, between, you know, our ex-partners, you know, and you, you know, for the highest good now, you know, and also, you know, escort any stuck discarnates, you know, to the Arcturian Ascension Temples, where they will be, you know, reconnected with their lost loved ones, and then after counseling, you know, are brought into the heaven. Well, there might be uh, better opportunities uh, if they're those, and if they're high self and uh, source approved, they may be brought to those now to um, and, um, and smile and send earth love into their head. Now, a big one is child molestation. And, and you know, they say just statistically, uh, that one third of the children gets molested. Well, uh, I, I think that is uh, very underestimated, you know, uh, according to what I experience with my clients. You know, it's uh, much, 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 much higher. So many people have been molested as children. You know, some do remember, yeah, and some do not. You know, yeah, you know, we all carry deep emotional scars, you know, that affect our self-worth, you know, our, you know, uh, feeling of boundaries, you know, against others, you know, as well as also our sexual and, you know, emotional relationships. On top of it, you know, uh, all those or most of those molesters have been molested themselves, you know, when they were young, when they were children. So there seemed to be some imprinting going on, you know. So in general, you know, the victim and the abuser are one. And it is important, you know, that the buck stops, you know, here, you know, with you, you know, and that this kind of trauma is not further transmitted. So I'm not here to judge anybody. This is, uh, you know, just just clear this. Let's get on with life. You know? So, first question, you know, just smile, pump your heart again. Make sure you know your your heart is nice and glowing, so you're not in your mental space. Make sure you're not frowning. You know, <laughs> you know. So smile, pump your heart. The first question, you know, have you been molested in this lifetime? Yes or no? And if you don't remember get molested, then <laughs> got a yes, so let's ask again. Pay more attention. Have you been molested in this lifetime? Yes or no? Uh -huh. And if yes? How did that, that affect your inner child? Uh, 
and how that did affect your inner teen. And how is this influencing you today, you know, as an adult? And how does it affect your relationships in general? And how does it affect you regarding enjoying, you know, sex? And how does it, you know, affect your loving relationship? You know, not just sex, more like more romantic relationships. And how much does it affect your self-worth and self-love? And where do you carry most of that trauma from those experiences in your body? You know, there's generally two major places. Just that you be shown where they are. And how does it affect your body now in older age? Maybe even in the future, how will this affect your body? And now the kicker, you know, um, you probably know if you molested other in this lifetime, but you know, ask the question, did you molest others? You know, in past lifetimes, yes or no. Yeah, let's ask again, you know, some of you may have been molesters. And just make sure. Um, so have you been molesting others in past lifetimes, yes or no? And now ask whether the molestation that you experienced in this lifetime was done actually by the same person. I mean, you know, another incarnation of that same soul. Yeah. So again, was this, you know, basically a reverse you know, from a past life experience with the same person? Yes or no? Okay, so I hope that clarifies a lot for you. And uh, now we ask that the most merciful Supreme Me, you know, to please to clear from us, you know, and you know, for also from our victims, you know, any trauma, sexual, emotional abuse, and molestation. Whether we were the victim, you know, or there the victimizers, or vice versa, you know, we give forgiveness and we ask for forgiveness, because most likely what was done to you, you know, you have done to others in past like that. And we ask that any disconnect, you know, stuck spirits, be helped into the higher dimensions. You helped healing, accelerated healing, that to be blessed, and that any curses and other trauma you know, be taken away from them. You know, by the mercy, by the mercy of source, by the mercy of source. And many times there's so much guilt, you know, that cannot be repaid. So we need mercy, mercy, mercy. Uh, um, and just smile and send love to create it. You know, all around you. And ask for forgiveness and give forgiveness. And of course, you know, there's also the body <laughs> that has to go into the ascension experience. Mm -hmm. And so there are also, you know, resistances there. So let's deal with this. So first of all, you know, there are toxins, you know, in the tissues. 
you know, with many, you know, uh, many times, you know, toxins are stored in fatty tissues, you know, whether you have been spraying yourself with DDT, you know, or been drinking Kool-Aid, you know, for 20 years or so. Uh, um, you know what, uh, ask whether you actually, you know, much of your physical suffering is coming from toxins in your tissue. Yes or no? And some people actually have dark portals in their bodies, you know, from traumatic experiences past or this lifetime. Uh, you know, that's kind of like a reverse black hole for negative stuff. Asked if you have dark portals in your force field, yes or no. And some of you have a magic implants, you know, in your force field from past and this lifetime. And uh, maybe woo woo for you right now, but just, you know, ask, uh, are you affected by magic implants? Yes or no. And some of you may have physical problems you know, due to past life wounds or trauma. You know, maybe you fell off a horse and broke your back, or you lost a leg in a war, you know, or your uh, body was blown up by a cannonball. You know, um, these are things that tend to bleed over. So that's us, you know, do you have still trauma, you know, from past life wounds? Yes or no? And if you get a yes, uh, why don't you ask, you know, so which aspects of your sickness, you know, are due to past life wounds? Now, Now I asked whether there was else any bad energy from kind of curses or vows, you know, sometimes self-directed anger, you know, in your body. Are there pockets of those? Yes or no? Uh -huh. Ask also if there's any significant ancestor programming or DNA manipulation that's still affecting your physical body in some form. Yes or no? Now ask whether your body is significant negatively affected by what is called wrong food combinations. Yes or no? Uh -huh. And now ask if your body in particular is severely affected by, you know, food that is used as a weapon, like, you know, junk food or GMO, you know, Franken food. Yes or no? And uh, ask whether your body is also severely affected by negative, you know, programming, you know, around, you know, this could be, uh, you know, to pace your emotions, you know, or to, you know, heal insecurities, you know, or other, you know, uh, you know, dysfunctioning programs. Are you affected by dysfunctional food programming? Yes or no. Uh, now asked whether discarnate beings are using you and your body to satisfy their appetite, you know, using you as an all-you-can-eat buffet, you know, or using you, you know, as a sex machine, you know, to enjoy, you know, sexual release, you know, through your body. They can't do this as ghosts or disconnects, so are you being used as an amusement park, yes or no? And uh, some people, you know, they just think like certain drinks, like diet soda, 
<laughs> you know, it's, it has no harm like sugar would. Uh -huh. So let's just see, ask whether, you know, your body is severely affected by the wrong drinks, you know, whether it's sodas, beers, or whatever that is, yes or no. And are you also, you know, uh, maybe affected by negative thought forms around exercise? Uh, you know, yes or no. And we ask, you know, our spirit guides, you know, that all negative, you know, programming, you know, regarding food, you know, uh, whether it's from trauma or curses or spells or manipulation, you know, from, uh, let's say, authorities or technologies. And that could even be food conversions. We like that, you know, these implants, you know, uh, these programs be cleared from us as much as possible. You know, under the supervision of our high self. High self kind of knows probably what is best. Um, um, um. And of course, you know, another uh, big resistance, you know, for us is, you know, the uh, pollution, you know, of the sour grains, you know, of the astral body, you know, it's stuff you can't see with your eyes. And most people cannot feel it with their hands, you know, but they are all light, they are all part of reality, you know, so we have Wi-Fi um, radiation, you know, we have Bluetooth radiation, we have microwave radiation, we have cell phone signals, FM signals, EMF signals, and on and on and on, you know, and um, grounding, you know, has to be, you know, really essential practice for you, you know, to clear all the stuff and to strengthen your force field, you know. Uh, so, uh, we asked, you know, uh, your high selves, you know, to show you or to tell you, you know, whether your foot chakras are actually, you know, blocked, you know, are your foot chakras significantly blocked, yes or no. Also asked, is your root chakra significantly blocked? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. And so we asked our spirit guides, you know, to clear all the trauma, you know, that blocks our foot and root chakras. You know, so there are stuff like slavery devices that block them and curses or standing in dungeons for too long, you know, there are all kinds of reasons this just got blocked. So we like to have as much as them cleared as possible. And we have we blocked others in past lifetimes, you know, we like to have that cleared too. And we are so sorry. Please clear and liberate all the beings that are involved in this, you know, blocks to spiritual grounding. Now, um, 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 Oof. Smile and just keep breathing, having an earth love into your heart. And we also ask that, you know, any implants into our amygdala, you know, whether it's cords or other technologies, you know, to manipulate us against our highest good, that they are please be cleared. Spirit, please release all programs, all hooks, devices, chains, and other forms of binding and limitation, <coughs> like rings, plates, spikes, <coughs> spells, portals, curses, contracts, promises, vows. <coughs> oh, clearing is already happening. Mm -hmm. That were put onto me the body, mind, and spirit complex by predatory beings. Now, that also includes structures, thought forms, devices, entities, orientations, or effects associated with the following curses across all incarnations, all space, all time, all parallel realities. <coughs> 
parallel universes, alternate realities, alternate universes, all planetary systems, all source systems, all dimensions and the world. Amen, Amen, Amen. So be it, so be it, so be it. Swaha, Swaha, Swaha. Also, any entities, you know, that are still trapped. So be it, Swaha, Swaha, Swaha. Nah. While well, this is still going on, uh, you know, there are still other blocks, so to say, uh, that uh, prevent or hinder our ascension, and that is limiting belief structures, you know, religious concepts, you know, you know basically, you know, what is possible, you know, so once you have seen miracles with your own eyes, you know, you become much more open. To the possibility that other supernatural things, you know, can happen again. You know? It uh, will also, <laughs> you know, uh, give more, you know, so-called mystic stories or fairy tales, you know, or creeds. You know, uh, once such limiting belief system is, for instance, that she, you know, or astral matters, so to say has to follow the Newton's laws of matter, you know, especially in relationship to space and time, you know, or that we are identical, you know, with this physical body. You know? uh, so sometimes it's only the wrong expectation, you know, what does it mean, you know, to be resurrected, you know, or the resurrection of the dead, you know, does it mean releasing stuck soul fragments or ghosts? you know, into a higher dimension, you know, or isn't granny, you know, going to crawl out of the grave, uh, you know, uh, maybe uh, go through a zombie lava state, you know, to emerge as a young lady again, to eat lots of fruit, you know, picnicking with her loved ones in a park-like environment. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, if you have the wrong expectation you may not actually you know see when it's happening and <clears throat> so i mean i've seen you know people dancing in the fire you know not fire walking i've done fire walking myself but dancing in the fire and you know grabbing the burning coal holding it in the hand you know if this is not supernatural <laughs> i don't know i i've seen you know very very supernatural things in this life so this you know it really helps, you know, uh, to understand other things. Uh, anyhow, so <clears throat> uh, let's just ask, you know, your own inner guidance, you know, and get a little overview here, you know, over your own, you know, psychological landscape. So let's just ask, you know, what is, you know, holding, you know, which limited belief structures are holding you, you know? back the most. So how about, you know, social belief structures, you know, uh, how do they affect you, you know, are they affect you negatively or positively, your programming. Do you have a negative programming, you know, regarding marriage? Yes or no? Do you have negative dysfunctional programming, you know, regarding child raising? Yes. Oh. Yeah, it would be like beating the stupid out of somebody, right? And do you have significant, um, you know, negative programming regarding romantic relationships? Yes. Now, how about negative program regarding sexuality? Then mm -hmm. let's just, uh, what is the worst? <laughs> just ask, you don't have to tell anybody, that's your little secret. You know what, ask, what's the worst dysfunctional programming in your sexuality?
Now, what's the worst programming that you're having in making a living for you? And what's the worst, you know, programming in you and your expression of love? You know, where you're really going off the deep end. Let's see where that is. And where's the worst programming mistakes in your relationship with your environment? And ask me that you have significant, um, you know, uh, negative programming about, you know, the healing abilities that your body has, you know, to heal itself. Yes, I know. Uh -huh. And how about negative programming around food and exercise? What's the worst there? And what is your worst negative programming in your relationship with Gaia, Mother Earth? And what is your greatest misconception regarding spirituality? Uh -huh. If you got that one, then ask about the second verse. <laughs> huh? Now, of course, uh, our, you know, spiritual eye is considered the pineal gland. And, you know, the, the cleaner that is, you know, the cleaner your visions, and, you know, your connection with your spirit. Uh, so, well, for um, speed's sake, let's just ask whether you have toxins and minerals, you know, affecting you, you know, your pineal gland significantly in a negative way, yes or no. Uh -huh. If you're doing alcohol, ask, you know, how is that affecting your pineal gland? How about the fog from prescription drug use, whether it's uppers or downers, how do they affect? How about the fog from recreational drug use? How does that affect your pineal gland? How about physical trauma? You know, like car accident or boxing, you know, or child abuse, you know, or headbanger, <laughs> or soccer, you know. Uh, how is physical brain trauma, you know, affecting you? How about physical trauma from past lifetimes? Big effect. How about curses? How about vows? Are astral parasites affecting, you know, your pineal gland and your, you know, brain significantly? Are there any astral negative astral devices or black magic devices, you know, interfering with your uh, third eye ability? Is there nanotech or AI interfering, you know, with your spiritual visionary ability, your pineal gland? And is DNA manipulation, you know, uh, still affecting, you know, your pineal gland in a negative way, yes or no? So we asked, you know, that, uh, you know, these transgressions onto our free will, onto, you know, our body and existence, you know, especially when they have been done in a clandestine way, be cleared that those responsible, you know, uh, that they're being judged or, you know, removed from our presence, mm -hmm. that that karma please be cleared, mm -hmm. that 
huh? that our DNA be updated, that our, you know, subtle body matrix, you know, be cleared, you know, and the physical body be cleared from all, you know, these before mentioned, you know, uh, interferences. And if there's something that wasn't mentioned before, but that high self knows should leave, we ask that that be clear too. Now, uh, uh, um, And, uh, yeah, now there is more, you know, um, releasing, uh, you know, trapped magical beings in ancestral karma is also a big thing, you know. Many mystical beings, you know, and nature spirit have been pressed in the past, you know, by ourselves, you know, our ancestors into our service, you know, for wealth and power. You know, or longevity, you know, for all kinds of reasons. And... Many of these beings, you know, which are beautiful, you know, divine beings, have been severely, uh, you know, they have been trapped, you know, and were severely tortured, you know, and they're quite angry. You know? And uh, so now us, did you, you know, all your ancestors trapped, trap or offend divine mystical beings? like unicorns, the fae, or fairies, or elementals, or beings like leprechauns or gnomes, yes or no? And if they did, you know, we apologize to them, just, just tell them how sorry, you know, you feel. And um, we asked, you know, our ascension teams, you know, these are beings that work with me, you know, to escort those beings into the Arcturian, you know, ascension temples, you know, and help them there with forgiveness and ascension and to liberate them, you know, and heal them. Amen, 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 you know, give permission. I have a special meditation for this, you know, uh, so, but uh, many people have a lot of trauma there. So that's very, very important that you make sure this gets really cleared. So, again, we, you know, ask the divine, you know, creator, absolute source of everything, you know, to will help release, you know, our ancestral karma, you know, the karma, you know, of, you know, our tribes, you know, that got trapped, you know, or trapped others, you know. We, we asked for the clearing of the negative vows or contracts or debts, you know, from our ancestors, of our past incarnations. So please, Spirit, please release all hooks, devices, chains, and other forms of binding and limitation, like rings, plates, spikes, spells, curses, contracts, bindings, promises, vows, that were put into me, my body, mind, and spirit complex due to my ancestors, or where they put those unto others. You know, that includes structures, thought forms, devices, entities, orientations, or effects, you know, associated with these following curses. You know, across all incarnations, all space, all time, all parallel realities, parallel universes, alternate realities, alternate universes, all planetary systems, all source systems, all dimensions and world, you know. So please, you know, clear all the negative curses that we mentioned before. Please do so after forgiveness has been done and please assist now with this forgiveness. Amen, amen. And while this is going, uh, there's another aspect that needs to be cleared, that is resistance starts, you know, ascension. And uh, I will assume, you know, that you already know about the dangers of negative mind control, you know, through electronics, cell phone, Wi-Fi, microwave radiation, you know, ELF, you know, electric, ELF and HARP, you know. So these are all you know, more or less widely known technologies that have been used, you know, to affect your health, you know, your emotions, you know, your mind and your higher mind. 
And, you know, then there is a slew, you know, of tech, you know, that is, I mean, hidden, you know, or secret and very, very advanced, you know. So voice to skull technology, you know, is just one of them, you know. So, but uh, please, you know, just do your own research, you know. And then, you know, another possible villain, you know, has risen into the awareness of the conscious pioneers of humanity. That's you, right? That of AI, artificial intelligence, you know? I mean, artificial intelligence is nothing new to sci-fi buffs. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, I recommend, you know, that you do, you know, your own research, you know, if this idea, you know, resonates with you, you know? So the, the effect of AI in our lives seems to go even deeper, you know, than people becoming addicted, you know, to their smartphones, you know? That type of AI influence is just, you know, the tip of the iceberg, you know? And again, I, I recommend that you do your own research, you know, on these topics, you know, or ask your own inner guidance. So there are, you know, good reasons, you know, why you are watching this video. So just let me say that, that your inner dialogue, you know, may not be your own emotions and thoughts, but could be somebody's or something else's projections, you know. So, by all means, you know, not all projections on us, you know, come from AI or TV, you know, but some do. <clears throat> of course, you know, any such uh, clandestine, you know, mind-bending tech, you know, is a violation of free will and that is why we get the support you know of all the positive you know service to others higher dimensions so some help in order to level the playing field so to say you know so let's just ask you know how much of your thoughts you know is manipulated you know by ai lots little you know or nothing And ask how much of your emotion, you know, is manipulated, you know, by AI. And how much of your action is negatively manipulated by AI. And how much of your health is negatively manipulated by AI. Okay, now pay attention, we do the clearing. I am a sovereign being and I consider that any AI that has been placed into my body as my property and that it has to obey mine and my higher self's every command. I command that any AI in my body, DNA, aura or copies thereof that is not completely aligned with my highest purpose or good in this incarnation be removed or terminated. This is to happen in a way that is for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Any contracts, depths, vows that would allow their presence are now cancelled as they are based on deceit, trickery, guilt, blackmail and other ways that violate my free will. My free will. So be it. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. So asked and this is of course for the highest good so agree with that do your amen and of course that's not all you know there's also you know lots of dark cheese and portals you know around your house or apartment you know from others so let's quickly ask are there negative portals you know in your living environment yes or no How about ghosts? Are there ghosts in your living environment affecting you? Yes or no? Is there dark chi from previous tenants affecting your environment? You? Yes or no? Is there still dark chi from your own family, you know, uh, affecting you in a negative way in your house or room? Yes or no?
And then is there dark chi, like tumbleweed, you know, stuck outside, you know, your house or apartment, you know, as, as if it's stuck to a fence. Many times it's above, so it blocks, you know, the light coming in from above. So if there are dark chi clouds stuck to your environment, yes or no. And now we ask all the divine beings to just clear this as much as possible. Please do so now and continue to finish. Amen, amen, amen. Okay. And so, uh, of course, uh, there's also, you know, there are good ETs and there are bad ETs, you know, like the good humans and bad humans, right? And so there are um, some, um, <clears throat> uh, you know, that are predatory, you know, just like we, uh, you know, are predatory to pigs and chickens, so to say. And they harvest us for loose production. So, let's see, uh, are you, uh, you know, the victim of uh, ET programming, you know, that puts you onto a love drama roller coaster ride, yes or no? Mm -hmm. Is your vibration affected by a sex slave alien, you know, subtle, you know, abduction, like we have Princess Leia and Jabba the Hutt, you know, uh, are you kind of kidnapped on a subtle plane like that? Yes or no? Are you negatively affected, you know, by alien abduction breeding programs in your vibration? Yes or no? Are you a product of an alien love bite experiment? Yes or no? Is your love life being manipulated by Zeta, Reptilian, Draconian and Anunnaki technologies? Yes or no? Are there any negative astral devices affecting, you know, your sexual organs, like, or your organs at all, like cast, molds, rings, clamps, rods, needles, glass, cords, plates, metal spikes, screws, or other devices and not methods not mentioned here? Yes or no? Were there any negative XT experiments done, you know, to you in the uterus? You know, yes or no? Are there being any XT experiments done to the uterus or other productive, reproductive organs? You know, yes or no? And is your sexual or reproductive energies being harvested by ET? Yes or no? Okay, let's clear this now. I'm a sovereign being. And, uh, you know, please disconnect any clones, you know, of us that are used to control us, to torture us, or used as sex slaves, you know, or for bad magic, or genetic research, or anything else that are affects our ascension in a negative way. Please, you know, liberate them now. Um, I also ask that all pieces of my soul that have been stolen, captured in any way, that are being used, abused as energy sources, or and slaves of AI or other beings and any other negative purpose, you know, that is not aligned in alignment with the plan of, you know, the highest supreme souls. You know, we ask that they be liberated, cleared and joined up, you know, with my being in a joyful way for the highest good and divine harmony with the most outcomes. Any further enslavement is a violation of free will and any contracts or deals or vows that enforce the slavery are cancelled now. Amen, 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 so be it, so be it. So be it. Swaha, swaha, swaha. 
And dear Ascension teams, please rejoin the last lost ghost aspects you know, or soul fragments, you know, with their highest self aspect now. Um, and, you know, and please transmute any physical, astral, emotional, mental, and spiritual trauma, you know, from them, you know, and, um, you know, give them healing energy, you know, and upgrade us, you know, to our divine blueprints as much as possible now. Amen. So, dear source of all and divine Archangel Michael, I'm a sovereign and divine being, you know, that is residing in a human body at this time, you know. Uh, I command in the name of the Absolute Source to clear any you know, negative programs, you know, any negative thought forms that are still trying to prevent my ascension, you know, and me as, and as well as my loved ones. Amen. Amen. And now we ask for the help and wisdom, you know, um, to guide our lives and to open our heart, you know, to see, you know, the value and lessons that we have with the people around us. Um, and we also ask for guidance to recognize the right time and circumstances, you know, to bring new ideas, you know, um, to other people, you know, to understand. Um, and we also ask, you know, for the companionship and support, you know, from like-minded people, you know, on the spiritual path. Amen. And we also ask, you know, for inner and outer inspiration and guidance here for our own life. You know, and is there any message before we're leaving now? Please give it to us now. Amen. And we thank all those beings that came and helped. And uh, please, um, you know, remove any stray energies that are still there. You know, clear any cords that are unnecessary. And um, return any soul fragments, you know, to our soul. Integrate them nicely. Update our subtle bodies. Charge them up. We integrate them with our physical bodies. You know, protect them. Install protection around our whole body. In force field, then seal it and lock this in. And one, two, three, back and back and day consciousness again. Well, hello, my friends. Uh, back now. Well, uh, I don't know how long this was. Uh, well, drink a lot of water. Uh, don't drive. Um, this may take some time to integrate, so, you know, take it easy. Um, you know, share your experiences, you know, in the comments, you know, this is your tribe. You know, these are people like, like mind of similar experience to you. So you want to share with them. Um, well, um, you know, you can book sessions with me, or just send me an email. Um, you know, give this a thumbs up so other people get to see it, you know. Subscribe. I love you. Smile like an idiot. Namaste. <laughs>